Thanks for dropping in. Spooky season is here, and with that comes a flood of 3D printed Halloween designs. In this video, I'm going to add to that torrent with 12 Halloween themed remixes. It's a lot to cover, so let's get to it. Model 1 Dracula's Tower Pen Holder. Last year, I designed a puzzle box shaped like Dracula's Tower. Well, now I've remixed it into a simple pen holder. Dropping the mechanism gives us a lot of extra space. When fully closed, the inner chamber is 146 millimeters tall, long enough for most pens, markers, or 3D printing tools. Even though this design looks pretty intricate, it's a very easy print and requires no supports. Model 2, Print in Place Twisty Ghost Puzzle. The Twisty Puzzle series is back, but now with a new face, the ghost model I released last month. Since this puzzle is print in place, you can make your own copy without knowing the puzzle solution. The puzzle is available in both easy and difficult versions. Choose how scary you want the challenge to be. If you've already made one of my print in place puzzles, you can skip printing the core and just reuse the one you already have. It's fully compatible with the new ghost shell. As you'd expect from a print in place design, this model also requires no supports. Just print slowly and make sure you have a really good first layer. Model 3 Ghost Bobblehead Yep, the ghost gets two remixes in this video. I've also transformed our spooky friend into a fully 3D printed bobblehead. Just print the base, the spring, and the head, then snap the parts together. In most cases, the connection will be tight enough that you won't need glue. The model also includes an optional assembly tool. This helps keep the spring straight as you install it. Model 4, 5, 6, and 7. More monster bobbleheads. The rest of my movie Monster Gang has also returned as bobbleheads. Mummy, Frankenstein, Werewolf, and Dracula. All the bobbleheads come with alternate springs and bases. Choose the strong spring if you don't mind giving up some of the bobble for a longer living part. And pick the wider base if you value stability over desk space. Some of my monster designs did require supports. Luckily, that's not the case with the bobbleheads. Even the werewolf with his long snoot can be printed support free. The next model may not look like a Halloween remix, but stick with me. Model 8. Improved Giant Snowman Bolts My posable giant snow people are held together with a loop of TPU filament. These strands are pulled tight with a tensioning sled and a couple of bolts. In this remix, I give the bolt's thread a larger pitch. That means each rotation moves the bolt twice as far as before, making assembly that much faster. The bolts also have a nice new chamfer to help guide them into the sled more easily. Why does this matter? Well, you may want to disassemble and rebuild your giant snowman to give him model number nine, giant snowman pumpkin vest. This stylish vest comes in both arm and no arm variants. It looks good paired with the sweater collar or the scarf. So pick whichever looks best to you. Of course, we could take this a step further. Model 10, Giant Pumpkin Snowman. This snowman has gone all in with the fall theme and transformed entirely into a pumpkin stack. This posable pumpkin person is fully compatible with all the existing snowman accessories. You can reuse any arms, buttons, or hats you've already printed. That said, Instead of reusing an old hat, you might want to consider Model 11, Giant Snowman Witch Hat. We'll just pop off that top hat and slide on the witch's hat. Now our pumpkin pal is truly ready for the season. For our final remix, I saved one of my more popular requests. Last year, I released this simple twist open mushroom, inspired by my love of classic Mario games. Well, it's time to introduce the mushroom's evil twin. Model 12, Poison Mushroom. The Poison Mushroom has taken a lot of forms over the years, but I'm partial to this design, which swaps out the spots for a big skull. The base has also been updated with scowling eyes. 
So if you prefer the more subtle poison mushrooms, which are just angry recolors, you can use this base with the standard top. The poison mushroom is available both in regular and giant size. Of all the designs I've shared in this video, this is the only one that actually does require supports. The skull emblem has a curved back. This is to maximize storage space inside the mushroom. But if you print it flat, like this, any scarring from the supports will be completely hidden once the skull is glued in. All right, we made it. If your printer's sitting idle, I hope something this week caught your eye. But until next time, happy printing and thanks for stopping by. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Since you did, how about a couple bonus updates? Both of these are requests that were sent in from viewers, and they apply to the simple open mushroom and the twist lock open mushroom. If you printed the smile version of the base for either of these designs, you can now print inserts for the eyes and the mouth. These really make the features pop. I've also made a new ring insert. This one says allergen free. It might be useful during trick-or-treating. All right, that's all the updates for now. I'll see you in two weeks.